Andy Hearn of Matchroom Boxing USA. We are sponsored by JD Sports. Introducing your three judges scoring this contest from ringside. From Nevada, Lisa Jampa. From Florida, John Rupert. And from Puerto Rico, Nelson Vasquez. At the sound of the belt, your third man in the ring from Florida, referee Christopher Young. And now, ladies and gentlemen, from the four corners of the world to the four corners of this ring right here in Miami Beach, Florida. The fight starts now! Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner, standing with his head trainer, Vidal Riley. He wears the red with yellow trim. He scaled 188 pounds even. He is a YouTube star, undefeated in his amateur career, and tonight he makes his professional debut. Hailing from Saudi Arabia and representing the United Kingdom, ladies and gentlemen, here is the seven-figure killer, the beast from the East, and Esau. What time is it's purple time? And his opponent across the ring, standing with his head trainer, three division multi time world champion, Sugar Shane Mosley. He wears the brown camouflage. He scaled 191.8 pounds tonight. He also makes his professional debut. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the American YouTube sensation, internet personality, actor, and musician. Originally from Cleveland, Ohio, and fighting out of Big Bear Lake, California, introducing the problem child, Jay. KSI in the building to watch and cheer on Madison Gibb. Ryan Rucco, Radio Raheem, and Devin Haney, the WBC lightweight champion in recess, all here to call this fight between Jake Paul and Anison Gibb. You know, I got to say, the ring walk that both of these guys did lets us know that they at least have taken something from the professionals. They <laughs> both have a hell of a ring walk they style. They definitely have the ring walk down. Fight. <laughs> you would never think it was their professional debut. Watch this, head, watch this no it's like they're all professionals. So let's fight like it. Oh, yeah. Push them up. Devin, you're known for some pretty interesting outfits when you're making your ring walk, so. Yeah, he, uh, he seemed to beat me to the Louis Vuitton. <laughs> <laughs> I did Gucci, but I was on my way to Louis Vuitton, but he beat me to it. I gotta do something like Fendi or something next. Jake Paul has seemed very confident in his ability to knock out an Eason Gibb. Gibb, in his amateur fights we have seen, has an incredibly unorthodox style. Obviously, not trained as a professional boxer. And you could see immediately just diving in to Paul. He's put out pressure on for the first second. I knew he would. That's the way to do it. Go out there and let him know that you're here to fight and you're not afraid. He seems like he has some head movement with it as well. Crouching in a very unorthodox fashion. Looks like that was an early headbutt. Jake Paul training at Big Bear, isolated with Shane Mosley. Feeling like his brother Logan in L.A. was a bit distracted in his training for KSI. Good job from Jack. That's what he needs to do. If he, if he wants to take control of the fight, he needs to start with the jab. As in any fight, but especially with debuters, whoever lands the first clean, hard shot, that's the guy that tends to take control of the fight early. Yes, you got to earn respect. You have to earn that respect. Gibb nearly losing his footing there. Yeah, I mean, you can just see how incredibly unique the style is from Gibb. Crouching wildly. Oh. And that is going to be a knockdown. It was a flash knockdown, but he looks kind of hurt to me. 
You don't want to go rushing in there without throwing punches. Being in his face isn't enough. You got to be active. We'll see if Paul can end this quickly. Remember, this is about revenge for Jake Paul. I like how he went back to the jab, even after he had him hurt. He wants a shot at KSI. He only gets it if he takes care of Gibb. That's another knockdown. Anise and Gibb having all kinds of trouble staying on his feet. Gibb he, needs to move his head on his way in. Devin, how does Paul finish him here? Go back to the jab, stay relaxed, don't try to rush it. It was a good jab. He needs to stay on a jab. He's hurting him with just a jab. Yeah, he really is. That jab is backing up Anise and Gibb. Once you, once you start landing, finding a hold of the jab, the combination will follow right after him. Jake is staying very calm. He knows exactly what he wants to do in there. He's working behind the jail. Oh, big right hand that lands. He's hurt. Gibb is hurt. 